Hey everyone, Dave Papandreas here, and I want to talk to you today about the two different themes, thesis themes and Wu themes. And basically, I've been using the thesis themes now for about six months, and you know, I really love them, I think they're great, they're really powerful, um, but recently I just made the switch to Wu themes, and I just wanted to basically do this little video to show you why. Uh, you know, there's a few features that Wu themes was able to offer that I just couldn't for the life of me figure out with thesis. You know, it's really fast, really, really fast WordPress theme. Um, and that's one of the things that they kind of pride themselves at being, that everything's written really efficiently and that, you know, the load times are really quick. And that's really important for a website. You want a site that's going to load quick, that's not going to leave people hanging. Um, you know, there's nothing worse than a site that loads really slow. Um, it's very flexible. If you uh, see that little asterisk there, if you know what you're doing and uh, you have a little bit of uh, you know CSS, a little bit of programming knowledge, it's amazing, uh, powerful software. But unless you're really uh, well versed in web design, you know you're not probably going to be able to figure it out. I know I couldn't. And I uh, you know I was giving myself headaches just about every night trying to figure out how to do some real basic things and uh, you know so. It's, kind of frustrating when, you know, you, there's things that you see from other sites that you want to implement, some design elements, and you just can't figure out how to do it, so it's very flexible if you know how to do what you, uh, if you know how to do what you're doing, basically. SEO, it's, you know, because it's so efficient in the programming and the language, it searches really well with search engine optimization that the rankings you're going to get on from the search engines are going to naturally be high, uh, much higher than any kind of free theme that you're going to use. Um, you know, they have a bunch of different people who are using their themes. Um, you know, probably one of the most notable is one of the main guys over at Google. I think he's like the head of security or something for his own personal blog. He uses thesis themes. So that kind of, you know, tells you that, you know, somebody who actually works at Google, one of the higher ups at Google is using it. You know, there's a reason for it. Um, and then over here we have Woo themes. And this is the one that I just switched over to. And I'm really liking it a lot. And, uh, you know, first off, they're visually stunning sites right out of the box. As soon as you get a Woo theme, it's ready to go. I mean, you can uh, customize it with, you know, some custom colors or fonts. Uh, you know, it's real quick and simple to uh, manipulate this theme. But, you know, just right out of the box, it looks beautiful, ready to go. There's tons of options for the different themes. Basically, with Thesis over here, you know, you have a lot of options that you can do, but you're kind of limited, like I said, if you know web design. Um, if you don't, there's, you know, roughly 30 skins that you can get for Thesis, and those skins will, you know, help Thesis look the way you want to look. Uh, you know, they're an extra cost, you have to buy them. There's a few free ones, um, but chances are, you know, you're not going to be real happy with the free ones. I know I wasn't. There's still a lot of things that I was looking for that the free skins didn't provide, and so I was considering purchasing a, you know, premium skin, they call it, for, you know, $30, $40, and, you know, I just really wasn't stoked on any of them. I, they didn't have the options that I was looking for. Who, on the other hand, uh, I was really impressed with their offerings. They have a bunch, a bunch of different themes for, uh, you know, basically the same idea, skins, you know, call them themes, but they're skins, just like thesis. Uh, there's a whole lot of options though, and the nice thing is you can switch up your skin. Um, you know, you can buy more if I think uh, you know it comes with three, unless you get the membership, and then you can get as many as you want. But you know, it's real quick and easy to switch your site, switch the look and layout of your site, but keeping all the coding the same, so it's good for search engines. Um, so there's just a ton of options to choose from, and that's what I really liked the best. I was able to find a site that you know contained all the design elements that I was looking for. And, you know, it was ready to go right out of the box. It was, you know, nothing else to really add on or try to code or figure out or, you know, do research about. Again, it's also good with the SEO. It's real efficient in the language that was used for the programming of it. So, you know, it's going to search real well in the search engine rankings. You know, the price $70. Like I said, you get three of them when you uh, purchase for $70 or you can sign up for the membership site. You know, thesis, you're paying 87 and it's not a huge difference, like the price definitely shouldn't determine which one you're going for. For me, the choice is pretty clear, I went with the Wu theme, 70 bucks. Um, like I said, I could have gotten uh, additional skin for thesis, but I really wasn't feeling any of them, and I knew it was going to be a lot more work to try to uh, 
implement my own design on Lens unless I wanted to hire a great web designer, then that cost was going to shoot up real quick. So, you know, I just wanted to show you uh, real quick the difference between the two themes for me and uh, what I felt was most important. And, uh, you know, I hope this is a value to you, a benefit. There's also a few other theme companies that you can choose from, you know, paid for themes, uh, for WordPress, obviously. Um, there's Elegant Themes, there's, uh, was it, Studio Press. You know, those are other really great options. For me, though, I was really impressed with WooThemes. I liked what they had going on. Um, you know, it seemed really legit, and so I went with them, and so, you know, let me know what you think about the new site, the new layout, the new design, um, you know, the things that maybe you're using in your own WordPress site that your theme offers that you really like, or the things that are missing from your design elements that, you know, you're also having trouble figuring out. Uh, something also really cool about WooThemes is that they have a try before you buy kind of thing where you can sign up, uh, it's all free, you sign up for a username and a password and it allows you to log in as if you're logging into uh, your own little WordPress site. Everything is fully functional on that back end, but you can try out any single Word Woo theme that you want, which is really awesome. You can uh, you know mess around with different things, figure out how to use the options real quick. It's all this drag and drop stuff, point and click, really super quick and easy. But I thought it was an awesome feature because I was kind of on the fence. I was thinking, well, you know, I've heard some good things. Screenshots look pretty good of Woo themes, but you know I'm already used to Thesis. I already know how to you know I'm real efficient with it. Know how to change things really quick, but you know, once I was able to try it, I pretty much sealed the deal. I was, you know, ready to commit after that. It was, uh, you know, pretty much a no-brainer for me. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Please comment below, and I'm happy to help you out however I can. Ask me some questions. I'm here for you. Until next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.